hand are we on? <clears throat> it seems like it. It seems like it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Last night um, didn't go live at all. And uh, that camera angle in the rest of my bedroom, but uh, who cares? Let's see how we go from there and uh, where we do go. Right, good evening, good evening, everybody. Uh, camera angles there, just like that. Right, and I can uh, try and see your comments there. Good evening, good evening, everybody, and welcome to KC Live on a Wednesday night. Wednesday, Wednesday. Uh, hump day, uh, what kind? Now I can see your comments. I think we got good comment. Thank you, Raina, who called me today. Um, good evening and uh, welcome. Welcome. And the program. I want to get this thing a little bit. Good evening, Graham Pigeon. Graham Pigeon the Pigeon. Uh, I always want to say that. Pigeon the Pigeon. Let me get my. I've got two computers up and running. I'm a bit all upside here. Let me get everything in order. And then we can move. Kritika, good evening. Kritika. Um, Kritika is on YouTube at the moment. So we're live streaming on two platforms uh, Facebook and YouTube. Hopefully, you get better connection. By the way, the problem yesterday was with my own uh, network. I had exceeded my limit. Therefore, they had throttled me. Throttled me. And uh, yeah, so tomorrow, first, I'll be back online on my official network. I'm now on the rain. I spent some money putting my rain fucking. Uh, uh, router outside on a pole facing the fucking 5G tower, all that shit there. Uh, we try to do. Let's see whether that brings us any joy or not. Uh, don't hold your breath. Uh, then I'm also getting an MTN card to be able to log on to MTN if everything else fails. Uh, what to do? Oh, I'm going for the 5G, the big one, 200 megabits per second. I don't know. Casey, fuck you, says Calvin Pillay. What else can you say, Calvin? That's the only thing you can tell me is fuck you. Uh, how are you doing, Calvin Wesley Pillay? Uh, sponsor of our GK quiz, by the way, uh, which is uh, in full go now. Next installment on the on Sunday. We'll talk about that uh, just now. Vishal Singh, Stanga Banger says, I am Kuli, uh, joins us from uh, where else but Stanga. Uh, Stanga Banger in the house. Uh, Hayden says, How's it? Uh, Casey, how are you feeling? Uh, Corbin, Naidu, Kirsty Naidu, sorry, Kirsty. I'm uh, barely reading that uh, what's happening there. Why are you disturbing us? Uh, go sleep and go drink, Calvin. Go sleep or drink. Uh, and it's spelling mother wrong as well. Uh, long, long pack show today. Let's see what we can get. We didn't get through yesterday. Uh, Paul Whitaker from England, our regular on our program now. Gregory Mutton says, Wanakam, Wanakam, Wanakam. Uh, good evening and welcome to the show. Shadow Kalki Pasad, how are you? Recovering well? I'm recovering well. Thank you, thank you, and uh, thank you. I'm just gorgeous, thank you. Start again. Let's leave him there. Right, all good to go. Right, welcome to the program. Ritesh Ramkusun joins us as well. He was upset yesterday, I didn't tell him hello. So, hello Ritesh, how are you Ritesh? Uh, everybody on YouTube, welcome to the platform. Shalendra Khalidin, uh, which Shalendra is this? Shalendra from uh, um, Richards Bay. I'm listening to Kevin Rebellious, he is the number one lockdown DJs. Uh, okay, listen to Kevin, don't worry about me, listen to Kevin. Uh, no stress, as long as you're supporting somebody along the way. Um, Vanakam, good evening, everybody. Welcome to the program. It's Wednesday, 29th of September. 29th of September. Vanakam is my greeting to you. You can say Namaste, whatever. Ricky Naidu joins us from Ventpack. Hello, my pupils. He says, People, welcome. Uh, first of all, sign the register. Tell us where you're from if you're a newbie. Um, Calvin Pillay only knows one. Bali Alvin, where have you been, dude? Haven't been around for a while. Um, Anida says hi Casey and the rest of the gang. Anida joining us on YouTube because they get better feed on YouTube and we live streaming on both platforms as we build our YouTube channel. Don't forget the quiz, the GK quiz which I'm telling you about only happens on YouTube. You can only 5,000 rand to be one day uh, only on YouTube. Graham Pridgen says 30th September Casey. What did I say? Oh, 30th September. Did I say 29th? Okay, 30th September. Uh, Casey, you got a problem. Um, Calvin must be drunk now, drinking all my fucking drink. Haven't sent me any drink yet. Christian Falls evening. Akbar Sheikh, how's it, everyone? Akbar Sheikh here from Cape Town. Lots of people joining us from Cape Town. Vanakum uh, Kana says, uh, Keshni, uh, yes, 5k. He says, 5k to be won by West Lee, our sponsors there in the GK quiz. Uh, let me talk about that right now. The GK quiz, general knowledge quiz, happening this Sunday, uh, the 4th of, is it the 4th? I think it's the 4th of October. 
Yeah, 4th of October, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, we have in the GK quiz round number two. Round number two of the quiz, uh, GK quiz happening to, uh, Sunday, 3 o'clock. We've already got one winner there. One winner there. Uh, Mervyn Naidu has won. Uh, and he's through 10 rounds, 10 winners, 10 people play for 5 thousand rands that's it five thousand hard cash coming your way courtesy of wesley caro heard you vied hospital to get a couple inches put on yep 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 did that as well got the inches put on uh definitely ruben governor and uh vanilla says hello casey how's it vanilla joining us on the youtube channel eh? and uh yeah forgive my background on youtube that's half my bedroom where i'm staying now office into a bedroom um, to work from hi casey and members glad you're feeling better thank you nirisha and uh, welcome by the green stuff at the back you see is my green screen that i use for my videos um i i i, I multitask in my little office space here that i have um and, and do everything that i can here how's it mother how are you says trisha and i'm good uh jackie says hello casey and all jackie has moved on to uh youtube so the feed is better there if your battery gets contact battery lab <laughs> that's right calvin contact battery lab and lubricants which leads me into our sponsor for tonight's show battery lab and lubricants uh didn't come out too clear for him the last time so we'll give him another punt here uh roland i think roland is uh uh crazy specials on the batteries by the batrix uh, a lot of crazy special on the batrix there i'm just trying to get my mouse right here uh which fucking uh, feed am i on um yeah man and there we go there right they got 618 for 499 621 for 699 622s and 638s these are battery size by the way 699 628 629 599 and 652 all batteries come with a 12 month guarantee that's a dynamic uh dynamic make that by the way it's called dynamic uh love the new office space it matches the new glasses thank you christine that's a good compliment uh retail sales of the winner is from Durban. i'll give them dinner for two for free all right we got a winner from Durban too uh retail shall offer them a dinner for two at severa i can see where is the old shade old shades are gone for repairs um because they need they, they were in need of repairs they they ready actually but i uh, don't have time to go and pick them up uh but there's luck speed ass of nice eyes so tonight's show brought to you by battery lab and lubricants uh, look at the special offers for the batteries awesome special i think they're cheap uh leon says evening casey and friends thank you leon uh moon sami joining us on youtube so if you just join us we live on two channels youtube and facebook quick health update we've got a big show planned up for us tonight uh quick health update most people ask me i'm doing fairly well uh not enough not a not a lot of pain a lot of discomfort most of all the biggest hassle is moving around so the weight is off has to be off my leg which means i'm hopping around i'm using a, a walker you know what the old ladies use in the 80s and 90s yep i'm using that can't even go for a piss properly can't have a shit properly can't wipe my ass properly uh cram princess feed is terrible casey can't hear fuck i don't know why that is uh, hop onto youtube then hop onto youtube if you can't hear me on facebook hop onto youtube um i really don't know what to do with the feed by the way so i'm on the rain network uh which is wi-fi uh how's your leg says marcus cantina uh okay marcus leg is fine and uh if you guys are having a problem on facebook just log on to uh youtube and uh you'll get a much better feed there um yeah so leg is doing okay uh, i've got three months uh first first three months of uh, 12 weeks uh that was my nanny's walker yep money that's helping me a lot kritika that's the one i'm moving around with and um yeah all, all i'm using a wheelchair so isn't it ready ah uh, my flat is too small for me to use a wheelchair too many turns in and out so i've got the wheelchair thanks for kritika but i'm not using the wheelchair right let's get straight into the program i have a good night's sleep by the way as well i also bought a little uh, pee funnel that i pee into uh, so i don't have to go to the talk true story i'm telling you the facts and only when you're in the situation you will realize the value and the, of the small things you do in life about just walking around going to the toilet washing your face being able to stand to have a shave all of that uh shahid says facebook feed is fine right i needed to know that thank you shahid that your feed is fine uh some people are having a problem so not everybody's having a problem thank you for that shahid appreciate that so yeah finer things in life you'll get to appreciate uh when i do walk again and when i do walk again i will be much more appreciative of that little tendon there 
that allows me to move my feet in that direction. Yeah, and uh, no more Jerusalem. In fact, I'll be very scared to do any other fucking dance, uh, to be honest. Into the program uh, we go. So that's my up- health update. Thank you for being concerned. Jackie Munsami is laughing. Fuck you, man, says Calvin. What's up, mother? Speedy recovery, says Rishale. Rishale H. Jagri. Right, so quickly, tomorrow is 1st of October. International borders are open from tomorrow. Uh, more than 100,000 cases in our EU. International borders open from tomorrow, 1st of October. Uh, take note, uh, as South Africans, we can travel anywhere in the world, according to uh, the minister. You can travel anywhere in the world. However, um, leisure travelers from UK, the US of A, France, Netherlands, and India are amongst the high risk countries that won't be allowed leisure travel to South Africa. So I know some people are waiting for their lovers to return from England, uh, America, India. No, no, they're not coming back now. Haha, you case you're talking about can't wipe your ass. I broke my wrist a few months back, so I had to use my left hand. <laughs> yes, 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 Paul. What a thing. And look, wiping your ass. I mean, who thinks about it? Until the day you can't wipe your ass. Am I right, Paul? Look at it. What a simple action, wiping your ass. And then the day you can't wipe your ass is the day you appreciate that you could fucking wipe your ass. I mean, really? Uh, no more Jerusalem. I'm here with Jay. Uh, which was, oh, Jay. Oh, Jay from, uh, right, right. Um, how's it, uh, Jay? Jay, ready? How's it? Uh, Bangra will be good. There's Raj. Uh, and I says lol watching on the YouTube channel. I can't read all your comments very well on that screen So forgive me for not reading all your comments. Um, just give me a quick run a quick we got a long show tonight So remember international travel you can travel anywhere in the world according to the minister uh, Nanini Pando uh, However, UK USA France Netherlands India are flagged as high-risk countries. No leisure travel into South Africa 97 views, I'm going to sleep, says Calvin. Oh, sorry, man. Bye, dear. bye, bye. I know you want the big numbers. We are stuck like this, yeah. Um, Jay Reddy says, hi, hi, Casey. How are you, Jay? Well and good. Um, right. Um, the GK quiz I told you about is happening on uh, Sunday, the 4th of October. Uh, 5,000 then cash to be one day. Jay Reddy from Power Star Trucks joins us uh, from Riches Bay. One of my big supporters there. And I see uh, Ricky Naidu knows Jay as well. Wow, small world. Spray your ass might be easier. Mm. Spray with what, Rishay? Have you tried it? Come and demonstrate to me that I'll know. Uh, also, guys, getting used to the... Why guys are logging on now, getting used to the new time. Uh, 7.30, normally I'm on at 8 o'clock. And uh, guys, if you... I'm now on at 7.30. Sorry, I didn't say at the beginning. 7.30 to 8.30. Uh, Try to fit in with my lifestyle at the moment. And... Uh, if you want to know when I go live, I'll be going live again during the day as well. Just set your notifications for all live feeds. Uh, all live feeds. Set your no- notification. Kevin, fuck off. Kevin, fuck off. Go, go for big views. Go watch Kevin and all that. We don't play music here. We fucking talk here. We don't play music. Playing music is easy. Go and fucking watch there. We get big views there. Yeah, we talk politics. We talk interesting things. Go and watch. Go and drink and go watch Kevin there. Uh, not that I got anything against Kevin. Go and watch him. Uh, nothing wrong with that. Good evening, Trevor. Uh, Siga money. Right. Uh, <clears throat> quickly touch on a couple of things. You can tell me what's in your mind. Uh, Dinesh Bagda says we need to see the Shivas. <laughs> yeah, 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 I must get the Shivas. There are my posters at the back. There's some of the posters, some of my memorabilia. Uh, thank you, King. Only, only swearing, Calvin, because I know you, you don't get the power of the finger. Maybe the bad weather in Gauteng. Um, so quickly, the Zim flight, uh, South African delegation that went to Zim. Uh, what about the ad? The thing, lol, make a hole in a bottle and squeeze. Say it one more time. Uh, fuck off, Calvin. Um, so the Zim delegation that went to, or the Zim, the South African delegation that went to Zim, uh, just still Ramaphosa has uh, officially uh, reprimanded the minister, uh, Mapise and Kaluka, whatever her name is. Uh, she gets three months pay docked, which goes towards the COVID fund. And uh, 100,000 Rand is uh, 100,000 Rand. The air out of focus. Okay. Not sure about that. We'll have to adjust it. That's because of the feed. Uh, Calvin Pillay says, Time. Uh, say one more time. Get rid of the ad. Ruth Edmonds, if you don't like the ad, I think I'll get rid of you. How's that? Right? 
let's put it that way. Uh, you don't like the ad, let me get rid of you then. Uh, don't tell me what to do on my program. You may suggest, but don't tell me things. Right, let's get one thing straight, yeah? My platform, you came to listen to me. I put an ad, I put a flower, I put anything, yeah? My thing, right? All right, let's leave it that way, right? Are we good? Ruth? Don't be rude, Ruth. Are we good? Thank you very much. Um, so, ANC will pay back 100,000 rands to the uh, SANDF um, for that. Uh, thank you, Ruth. Bye. Ruth is gone. <laughs> Ruth, is, Ruth is gone. Uh, Ruth has left the building. Uh, must move to uh, bed there. Yep. My bed is right here. Your green screen is really green. No advertisements. Uh, Graham Pridgen says ad is good now. Thanks. That's big. That depends on the feed. Thank you, Graham Pridgen. Can you see the ad correctly? See, depends on the feed that you have and it uh, doesn't come up. By the way, these guys pay my salary. So thank you for allowing me to advertise them. They allow me to make a living, especially now in these times when I can't earn a living. Uh, see, I said, wait for that flight from his book. <laughs> 100,000 rand. By the way, they said the flight cost 250,000 rand. Uh, the DA puts it more near 750,000 to a million, uh, but apparently it's uh, Mai says you're classing me. Who's Mai? Uh, flight from the distant. Graham Pridgen uh, says ad is good. Or you put the uh, glow web. What? Can't hear what you're saying. Um, Right, that's a Zim flight from Lissing, which the ANC is supposed to pay back 100,000 Rand. Uh, to the ANC couldn't pay salaries last month, by the way. Who notices the ad? And when you have Casey's face to focus on, you might need to bring the advert down a bit, Casey. Who notices the ad when you have Casey's? Yeah. Now, if I bring it down a bit, then it'll be too much in my face, and I don't have enough space to. Uh, uh, if your car full, say, if you. Uh, if you if you love you Emma Pele, I love you Emma Pele. Calvin Pele is sending his love out to his wife Emma Pele. Um, well done to Emma. I didn't mean to make, make that smaller, by the way. I think. Um, right. Also, quick update on. The, do you guys remember the twelve-year-old that ran away with the with the twenty-four year with the thirty-four-year-old man? The twelve-year-old ran away with the thirty-four-year-old man and found in Richards Bay. Well, here's the update on that. If you didn't know. Uh, initially she said she wasn't sexually uh, active with the guy and then now she's changed the story and says she has indulged in uh, sexual intercourse with that man even before the incident and he has now been uh, then he ran away he was hiding in Dundee somewhere and uh, he's been caught now been admitted to having sex with a 12 year old who now turned 13 by the way the next day it was a birthday uh, had sex with a 12 year old now been officially charged with rape. They found him somewhere hiding in Dundee and uh, been officially charged with rape. Uh, Anida says the taxpayers will have to pay the shortfall, which is unacceptable. That's right. Uh, Anida, some of these O's have had plenty spoken diesel. Correct, 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 correct. So good evening. If you just join us, Isha Modli, we now go live at 7.30. Get used to the new time slot uh, so we can get you guys on early. We finished talk about the Zim flight and ANC delegation. 100,000 rand to be paid back by the ANC. We'll see if that happens. The case of the 12 year old girl, uh, Vishal says, Good evening, Casey and friends. It's rather sad that we enjoy your show entertainment and we have some who pay sponsors on your shows, gets to delegate, swear you. Uh, don't worry about it, Vishal. It's people, it's all types of people. So we get all types of people. I'm not too stressed about it. Don't worry about it. Thanks for your comment there. Uh, then, quick update on the other case we had that Shrivani, you remember one other comedian uh, was uh, busy having a go at this lady, Shrivani. Uh, regarding her filters and all of that, Shrivani and Deepak, who uh, allegedly eloped or kidnapped her, he's officially been charged with rape and has been released on bail. That's an update on that story there. He's been uh, charged with rape. Uh, statutory rape, says Anita, that's right, it is statutory rape. 12 year old, 13 year old, underage girl uh, to have sex with statutory rape. That's the charge uh, going against the guy. Uh, corruption is all talk and no action against the crooks. Well, let's talk about that, uh, Ricky Nari. We'll come to that about no action because action is now being taken. That's my final topic for the night just now. We'll get into that as we just round up uh, the first half an hour of the program. Um, and then, how about your comment on this? 2.2 million jobs uh, have been shed in the second quarter. 2.2 million jobs have been shed in the second quarter. Five minutes to discuss this. Uh, largest economic contraction since World War II. Uh, 
facing a global recession. Uh, CR7, our, our man CR7 says, our president says, Africa needs $100 billion. Africa as a whole needs $100 billion. Immediate, urgent funding. Give me a comment on that. Uh, so, Cyril Ramaphosa, so we're in the worst recession. 2.2 uh, million jobs shed in South Africa alone in the second quarter. And uh, Cyril Ramaphosa said, for Africa to survive, the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, Africa needs a hundred billion dollars. Urgent and immediate funding for Africa, the continent, to survive. Yeah, what do you say on that? Hey, let me hear your say on that. And who's going to fund this? Who's going to fund this hundred million uh, dollars? Uh, they pick and choose which groups to take it. Largest unemployment in the world percentage. Which, yep. Uh, percentage wise correct I think we see about 40% unemployment at the moment uh, 100 billion dollars we knew this was going to happen you can close it months and think there's not going to be an economic crisis yep well we, we knew there's going to be an economic crisis the plan is what's the plan to, to fight the economic crisis uh, my whole thing about the 100 billion dollars uh, which is needed uh, urgent funding where does this 100 billion dollars come from do we now go to the um, USA, France, UK, ask all the white monopoly capitalists and the countries that are degrading black people, uh, not looking out to black in you know, you know I'm going here. There's a bit of who who funds you? Who who's gonna fund us? Who do we go cap in hand to? Not going to happen, but it's simple, easy to say, Kritika, you're dead, right? Uh, he must one billion and ninety nine goes to missing. More money to loot. Yep, hundred billion urgent funds needed to pocket this right. Hundred billion. Uh, Anita says, which country in the world is going to give Africa hundred million dollars? But there's a the thing. Who? Kritika uh, says, on ECR news, the two point two million does not include unemployed that were not looking for jobs. Yep, there. Are, in the statistics, there are people who stop looking for a job. That's different now. People who are no, who are no longer looking for a job. Uh, more tenders coming. Good evening, Karan. Lakshmi Das, and uh, headlines tomorrow, $100 million gone missing. <laughs> Isn't that a sad, sad, sad part and a sad reality? I eh? said that you can say that uh, China is going to take over. Well, if they need $100 million and China comes up with the $50 million and $60 million and whatever, then we take the money from them and then we give them uh, KwaZulu-Natal. Take KZN. Take how Uh Taxpayers or petrol. There you go. There you go. That's uh, That's important. Uh, and my point I was making is who do we go to as Africa to give us this money we go to the US of A we go to who we tell them off uh, and again white people I'm going to say white people even, we, even, white countries sort of white countries who, who ill-treat Africa who are Africa's uh, am I not right that, that it said Africa's worst enemies people who raped Africa and I'm not saying I'm not, I'm not saying that didn't happen I'm not saying it didn't happen. I'm not here yeah, as a. I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but happens. It happened. YouTube is buffering, yeah, because I'm on the same feed for both the channels. Tomorrow will be much better. I'll be on different channels. I'm on the same rain network uh, for both the feeds, and I hope Tyler's are on it. Uh, I can see YouTube is buffering at the moment. Uh, because I'm on the same network for both the channels. It should be supposed to handle it, but it doesn't. Um, who knows why? Um, feed is buffering. And Facebook, Facebook is fucking flying here, by the way. Uh, I haven't heard India asking for $100 million. Well, that's the thing. That's my, that's my point. Is uh, We'll go back and ask the people who raped Africa to start to help Africa. and uh, But we won't talk about that. That we can't talk about. We'll only talk about the things that they did to us that they raped us and how they did this to us, how they did that to us, whatever. And I'm not here to say, don't think, of, don't talk about it. But uh, something to consider. You're wasting your time with rain, Casey. Uh, yeah, probably. Uh, well, I'll give it a shot again and see where we go, uh, how far we go. Um, by the way, somebody said, other guys are happy with rain, by the way. The rain's been, they say, say the best network. Ask the Guptas. Right, let me get on to this uh, penultimate topic tonight quickly. As time is running out, we got half an hour down to go and I want to spend some time on this uh, back on Facebook says Anida 
yeah i don't know why uh Kritika says kc is using the same network let's go back to facebook today tomorrow thank you Kritika, for telling them on the channel um tomorrow i'll have two separate networks once my network comes up on my phone and i'll have two separate networks uh richard jail time and they're working on the vaccine okay let me i've got two big topics to talk about in the last half an hour of the show uh glad i got the question it's really sad that after years of compression the anc has failed the people yeah, let's talk about this now. Good evening, Roger Naidu. Roger Naidu used to come on early. Now that he got on pie, you don't come on early now. Uh, EFF said the white man is evil, but his money is a blessing to me. As us. So that's right. That's right. That's right, Cheryl. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying the white man are angel. I'm saying, but we, we chastise them, speak to them about things, and then uh, demonize them. And then we go with the begging bowl to the same people and say, give us the money to survive. And give us the money to do this thing. And nobody's talking about how black people are fucking their own selves in the whole fucking country like here. Yeah. Nobody has to talk about that. Right? Uh, it suits them to go to the Western countries for the loot. Then they shoot them down useless. That's what I'm saying. You know, and I'm saying again, I'm not justifying what the Western world did to Africa. I'm not justifying that. But it's ironic, isn't it? <laughs> that you go back to the same people and ask them for the money to take you out of trouble. Huh? Anyway, that leads me to this here. Yeah. If you haven't had this headline here, yeah, Kosatu threatens mass shutdown of KZN freeways and the CBD. Kosatu, biggest trade union in the country, uh, threatens mass shutdown of KZN freeways, KZN freeways and the CBD. The protest uh, is against corruption, government corruption. The protest is against government corruption, looting, all that's what the protest is about. It's scheduled for next week, the Wednesday, the 7th of October. Is it 7th? Yeah, 7th of October. Mass shutdown of the freeways and the CBD of KZN. Well, Durban, I think they mean, right? Uh, not a single ANC supporter will admit that the party has failed. On. Uh, that's right, nobody. Because why they all still want the tenders. They want whites' money, but they are not good enough to stay in South Africa. That's right. Uh, KC, I'm English, as you know. Yes, <coughs> UK did rape Africa. But with any guy, it could, we are taught that at school, I feel also feel they're proud of it. We are taught that at school, also feel they feel proud of it. Yep, of course they raped Africa. We know that. But they're going back to uh, going back to UK to ask them for money, and they'll take the money from the UK, and then they still tell them again ten years later, you came and raped us. They must also talk about the fucking money that they are helped. I'm I'm not justifying the UK in any way. Not justifying it anyway. In case you have seen what the move, uh, South Africa was the only country in Africa did not rape, but invested and built the countries compared to other African countries. Melissa says South Africa was the only country in Africa the so-called European discoverers did not rape, but invested. Built the country. Well, they built it. Look what they did. What, the, what these guys are doing. Yeah, Venera says seven. So Kosato is calling for mass shutdown of the freeways. This is uh, in response to government corruption and looting. Right? Now, here's my fucking problem with this with Kosato. These fuckers, fuck nuts. I don't know where they fucking went to school. The trade unions are what really wrong with this country. There you go. Ricky Nair is saying trade unions. Kosato is protesting against who? Against the ANC government. That the same fucking fuckers, Kosatu, are in fucking bed with the fucking same fucking ANC government. The ANC government held hands with Kosatu and fucking winning the elections. Kosatu is lying in bed with fucking ANC. Now they are protesting against the same government that they fucking put in power. And are, are they a special kind of fucking stupid? Are you a special kind of fucking retard? What is wrong with this fucking Kosatu? Eh? What are they put? They're protesting against the same ANC who they fucking put in power 26 fucking years ago, who support them every year at the polls, are supporting them, right? And now they're protesting. And how do they protest? Well, what are they going to do? They're going to shut down the economy. They're going to shut down the economy. What's already a fragile economy, uh, and Lani says, why don't they go and government? Exactly, exactly. That's my point. <laughs> Ricky Naidu says, that's right, Kosatu is part of the ANC alliance. That's what I'm saying. They're in bed with the ANC. And now they are protesting against the ANC by shutting down the economy, lying on the freeways, shutting down the freeways, shutting down the CBD, so the economy, which is already in a fucked up state, can be fucked up even more to show the ANC partners what they are fucking sleeping with, that we can't accept this, all this bullshit here. We will shut down the economy, fuck our own people even more, the old fucking workers, we will fuck them even more, so they don't get paid. So we show you guys in the ANC that we're not tolerating this bullshit. What fucking stupid fucking mentality is that? Eh? What, what, what fucking beef? I cannot fucking fathom this fucking... Co Who put these people here? What fandom? Are they got any fucking brains between their fucking ears? Eh? Shutting down the economy, depriving workers of much needed wages. Eh? That's your plan of action 
to bring the morally corrupt ANC to order. Like if you go and shut down the economy, tomorrow the ANC is going to say, we, we, we hear you, we Kosati, we hear you, we see you, and um, we are going to put this right. We are going to put this right. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Tw 26 fucking years, Kosatu. 26 fucking years. Where were y'all when the fucking uh, Zuma was in power for the nine wasted years? Where were y'all when the fucking Guptas were fucking running the country? Where were y'all when the fucking uh, SOEs were being fucked? Eh? It's all about money, poor, poor. Yeah, that's right. I mean, Kosati is just flexing his muscle to say what? To say what? Eh? If, to me, this is what I'd like to say to fucking Kosatu. Kosatu members, if you're fucking listening up, I don't know where they are, who they are. This is my thing for Kosato. Lack of fucking brains. Why don't you go fucking go buy some brains? Maybe somebody died, take his fucking brains, do a brain implant. There is no fucking way you can justify shutting down the fucking economy to fucking show the ANC a point. That's just easy, boy. No, you can't fucking take it easy. You can't take it easy when you go fucking retard it. And, and who's going to suffer? Who's going to suffer? You and I. You can't go to the airport, you can't go to work, you can't go buy your stuff, you can't do something, you need something urgently, you can't go buy because it's, it's shut down. Because Kosatu has shut it down. We are suffering. You think the fucking O's in the fucking parliament, you think the ANC guys, the big leagues are suffering when you shut down the KZN economy. Then there are a few more made, made today in the Zondo Commission. But watch it. Big guns are still firing. Yeah. I think there's the biggest load of fucking bullshit you can ever fucking hear. Where did these guys come up with this shit here? Eh? Well, le, to me, Kosatu, <coughs> ANC not only giant, <laughs> yeah. Listen to me, Kosatu. I don't know who's head of Kosatu. Zuel and Zima Vavi is gone from there, right? I don't know who's head of Kosatu. But here's the thing, Kosatu, listen up. If you want corruption to stop, if you want corruption to stop, if you want the looting to stop, if you have the people's interest at heart, if that's what you're saying, you want the people are suffering on the ground, here's what you do from now canvas for people to vote the ANC out. Out. And if you can't do that, then you, my friend, are a fucking puppet and you're fucking only fucking playing fucking music for us here. If you want to stop corruption, if you want the country to be better, if you want your workers to have a better life, you tell your workers to vote the ANC out. Otherwise, you're fucking blowing out a fucking useless chits. <coughs> Name me a single trade union essay that provides anyone with good parcel. That's right. Especially when the economy just began opening. Right. If, the, if, 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 if Kosatu cannot, and that's what they're not saying, striking for what? Gonna fucking lie, all gonna sleep on the fucking highways and fucking do for what? Fucking bullshit. Nani, I see ad for battery now. I paid 2 8 today. Why never tune early? <laughs> well, at least you saw the ad for Peter. Why are you paid 2 8 Go and contact our brother uh, Sid. Battery lab and lubricants. Uh, Especially when the economy was just uh, began opening up, says Vanilla Arthur. You know, I'm just, uh, I don't want to blow a fuse, but I'm just fucking befocked with this fucking Kosato story here. Uh, Puven, uh, same Adam, same one I'm seeing again. Vote uh, AMC, says Puven and Peters. So, like I said, who agrees with me? If Kosato, if Kosato really had the people's interest at heart, the workers at heart, vote the ANC out. Vote the ANC out. Say we had enough. But the reason, but obviously it won't happen. And the reason it won't happen, because Kosatu was fucking eating from the same fucking pot. Eating from the same pot. 26 years, you're eating from the pot. Now you want to come across like you are for the workers. Like, you know, the workers are suffering. The people on the ground are suffering. It's common knowledge. It's common knowledge that all the union fucking big leagues are fucking hooked up with all the fucking politicians. You're all fucking eating from the same pot. And... 99% of you are black people who are fucking raping your own fucking black people but fucking standing on top like fucking guns yet if I say something I'm a fucking racist I'm a racist yeah but your own black people you're, you're screwing your own people you're screwing your own people Kosato is just protecting their own fucking asses yeah that's right that's right that's right Kosato and his members eating from the same pot 26 years you're fucking eating from there you all didn't form the alliance the alliance is not uh, for nothing. The alliance doesn't come for free. Yeah, the alliance don't come for free. Let's be honest. We're not fucking lighties here. Not bullshit is here. The alliance don't come for free. So, <clears throat> y'all are being paid big bucks. That's why y'all don't talk up about the ANC. Strike. Strike my fucking ass. They all need to go. No unions. There should be no unions in the country. Uh, KC ANC is on its way out. ESCOM cut off plenty illegal connections. 
Yep, that is also going to happen. Uh, SA is bankrupted, and yet the unions want their money from the taxpayers. Yep. And, of course, uh, you, they're supporting the fact that, uh, we're talking about SAA, they're, talking, they're supporting the fact that uh, ANC is still, the SAA must still be floated by the government, which is another cash cow that we have to fucking fund <coughs> for years to come. Till we find out five years later, it's bankrupt again. And all the money that we could have used, we'd fucking put back inside there. Sorry. I'm just fucking befocked. Can I just have a small breather now? There we go. Right. So Kosato can get fucked. Uh, but the people will still vote for the ANC. Well, let me just touch on that. But the people will still vote for the ANC, right? <clears throat> and this is also... Understand this, and I've said this before, so that people get to learn as you go. The poorest of the poor living in the townships will still vote for the ANC because they are not privy to the information that you and I have on social media. They are not privy to the information that we see on TV. They don't know about this uh, scandals. They don't know about SAA. They don't know about ESCOM. And here's another thing I heard on the radio, which I knew for a while, I'm sure you guys know. The rural areas where the ANC gets a lot of their votes, the councillors there are telling them the money is coming from the ANC. The grant is coming from the ANC. The toilets is coming from the ANC. And those people who know, know, know better believe that everything they're getting is from the ANC. And then they are warned that if they don't vote for the ANC, the white man will come and take over again. That's the, you must, must understand that. When they say people still vote for the ANC, understand that. That's why those people continue to vote for the ANC. Uh, that's why England, I and Lady Margaret Thatcher got rid of the unions and changed the economy for the better. Unions in this country, by the way, there is a need for unions. I understand the, 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 the need for unions in its principle. But at the moment in this country, the unions are fucking up the economy. And we need a gap without exploitation. Listen. I'm not one for exploitation. Half loaf is better than none. But take the half loaf and fucking survive. I don't know. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not an economist in that sense. But I can tell you this much. The unions demand and the striking and whatever. And the rights. You know, all the rights. You can't come to me with a fucking right and I'm fucking trying to make a living. Uh, these SOEs are losing billions of rands of taxpayers' money. <coughs> Margaret uh, Adikari says, hi, hello, hello, hello. Margaret, you caught me on a roll here. I'm uh, trying to adjust my feet left and right. So there we go. How is Botswana doing so well? Uh, Melissa Ramdia. Uh, so Melissa believes Botswana is doing uh, quite well. There's corruption in Botswana as well. But Botswana is not a paradise, but obviously better than South Africa. Uh, oh, we have time. This country is in trouble. It says Taslima is smile. Well, to say we're in trouble, Taslima is probably an understatement. I think we are in trouble. Uh, I think we have to start preparing for the worst. And uh, how many of you have actually realized that part? That we need to start preparing for the worst. They, the forest keeps cheering the axe because they only saw the handle and thought, yeah, I hear you there, Timothy Mark Richard. I hear you there. I just gave you a version of why people still, uh, still vote for the ANC. <laughs> And while we chastise them for voting for the ANC, um, SA going to finish off worse than Zim. Kevin Knight, that's not, that's not an impossibility. It's something we have to work towards against sort of thing um, and uh, work against it. Uh, 2007. Oh, Kritika gave me the time. I was checking. Thank you, Kritika on the ball. I thought I was ranting for a long time. There. I can provide 20 new jobs just to train unemployed people and provide them trade, but not the... But not that... I can provide, let me just see, uh, uh, provide 20 new jobs just to train unemployed people and provide them a trade, but not at the minimum rate. Yep. But they're going to ask you, see, Ricky Knight, if you go and try and do something like that, then the union's going to come after you <clears throat> and they're going to put there. So Ricky Knight is saying he can provide training, right? But when he does that, then he's going to fall under the union rules and then he'll be caught flouting the union rules that he can be charged for trying to do what he's doing. Um, I hear you there, Ricky. But it comes down to mentality. We had bus drivers strike here in New Zealand for a week. The bus system ran to time. The drivers would not charge the people. Yeah, I heard about that, dude. 
But uh, remember Michael van der Waal, when it comes to mentality, we also have a population that's half-educated, under-educated, uh, rural population, 30% uh, education. So we stuck with that thing as well. I mean, New Zealand, the first world country, uh, people are educated there, right? You must accept what education is there and what education is here. So the same thing is can't necessarily apply. Uh, no, bro, not until we Indians step in. Uh, I think the ANC days are numbered. Well, the good thing is Lisa Kim Reineke, I follow the Action SA group, the new group, and uh, the number of black people that are on there that are, are, no, are going forward and trying to uh, make that Herman Mashaba's party work is fantastic. The number of people are anti-ANC. I think the ANC is feeling the heat, by the way, from Action SA. Uh, it's going to take away a lot of their votes, a lot of their votes going towards Action SA. Um, so I'm responding to Lisa Kim Reineke. Sorry, on what's on YouTube, Casey? I will wait all night for you, but my cut my connection. Uh, caused you my connection. Okay, I'm not Graham. Well, thank you. I'm not reading uh, the YouTube so much for now because the connection is unstable and I wasn't reading it. Sorry, dude. Uh, Angie Politi. Tomorrow I'll have two better connections, two different connections. They cannot accept their half loaf is better than none. They want two loaves. You know, Ricky, I just mentioned that previously in, when I'm saying the union story, right? Take the half loaf and let's survive. Let everybody survive. The other thing I, 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 I get a lot of in, uh, that I hear a lot on the radio the past couple of years, whatever, you know, uh, employees uh, bemoaning the fact that uh, they are paid a certain wages. And let me talk about this. Let me get my opinion across here. Employees talk about the bosses driving fancy cars, living in fancy houses while they're living in shacks right uh while they are living in shacks um Waldy smith can you please keep the topic to the same thing we're talking although you're talking to somebody else about something else I, i've spoken about this before then you'll distract the conversation can we stick to what we're talking about uh, so you can you can inbox him separately if you don't mind uh see now my train of thought is gone uh here's the bus gets burned during the protest the rest yep that's right <coughs> so here's my here's my take on uh <coughs> Employees talking about employers uh, earning fat salaries, driving fancy cars, living in luxurious houses, going on holidays while they're living in shacks. Who opens a business? Which businessman opens a business? Even Sir Ramaphosa in business. He didn't open his businesses to help the poor, to bring the guy out of a shack. Sir Ramaphosa didn't buy the McDonald's franchise to make sure every employee in McDonald's owned a house and drove a fancy car. There's no businessman <coughs> goes into business to empower his people, to bring them out. Every businessman goes into business to make a profit. Tell me I'm wrong. Every businessman goes into business to make a profit. And the lower your expenses, the lower your thing, that is why you in business. And when a business makes money, if I'm in a business and I invested my last 500,000 Rand to set up a business, and when I'm making money, that's my fucking money. That's my money. I put my 500,000 Rand there. You didn't put your five. You didn't put one cent. You came to work. You came as an employee. I gave you a minimum wage. That's all I'm entitled to give you. That's all I'm entitled to give you. I hear you, Waldi. No problem. Just that it distracts me when it's different things. <coughs> if I'm in business, I'm here to make money. I'm here to make a profit. That's what it's about. It's about making a profit. And, and no businessman should be made to feel ashamed of the fact that he's making a profit. Every business looks for cheapest labor, <coughs> cheapest raw material to produce the product at maximum profit. That's what you taught in business school. You maximize your profitability. And why are we making business people feel bad that they're making a profit? If that guy's driving an M4, it's his business. If he's driving a Jaguar, it's his business. He made the money. He took the risk. It's his thing. Uh, it's up to the individual to better himself. Correct. But now we feel that the, the, the spin-off is a job creation. That's right. It's a job creation and it's the uh, moving the economy in the raw materials and whatever that is buying. <coughs> what one person is without working for another works. Very true, says Wally. Our cities don't think CR bought anything that was part of the deal at Codesa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Codesa was Codesa, but Cyril was sent into the business, uh, was sent into the Business was deliberately kept in the capital world, in the business world, uh, to run businesses. But I'll just use an example.
to say that uh, no business goes into a business uh, to employ or to make somebody else's life better in that sense. Okay, we make them better by giving them wages, uh, giving them other perks or whatever. Yeah, that's by the way. It's all about the profit. And that's capitalistic. White monopoly capitalists, they're there to make money. Uh, there's nothing free in life. It may be free of charge, but someone is paying. Correct. Timothy, Mark, Richard. Uh, definitely somebody is paying. Uh, for everybody who joined in uh, just now, quite soon, uh, the feed is now at 7.30. Sorry about that. Set your notifications for 7.30. Uh, I go live at 7.30, 7.30 to 8.30 if I can. I might be ending a bit early today because leg is taking a bit of a strain while I'm sitting here. Uh, moving uh, positions constantly, trying to uh, feed the leg. 100% says Colin Pallium. <laughs> so, that's a mindset we need to change. But, however... Uh, air is free, however, you've got to use your lungs to get it, says Timothy Mark. Uh, Graham would join the Facebook Live, yep. So tomorrow I will be on two separate feeds, hopefully. Uh, my network on my phone will be separate. The network on YouTube will be separate, so definitely will be a little better off. Kevin Knight Clinton says the shack dwellers will say that the businessman is privileged when they, the dwellers want. They always blame the past instead of, yep. Well, that's the, that's the problem. That's the problem. That's the problem. Right, let me end with some uh, slightly good news. Uh, the last five minutes that I can get through. Um, and this I was quite surprised by. And we were discussing this the other day. A uh, uh, hat we must accept is uh, that every day our youth is going backwards while other countries are moving forward times three. Yep, yep, record, uh, Ricky, and what do we do about it? What do we do about it? Uh, that is a question. And... What do we do about it, ladies and gentlemen, is what we're doing now. We talk about it, we come up with solutions, we try to find solutions, but you're not going to hold your head in your hands and say, oh, well, it's fucked. Uh, if you've got no children and no nieces and nephews, then you can say that you can die peacefully and not fucking worry about anyone. But if you've got children, you've got nieces, nephews, uh, grandchildren, then uh, maybe you want to do something so that uh, we can make their lot a little better. Anyway, let's end with some good news. Uh, last five minutes I can do with you now. Um... Zondo, and I was pretty impressed with this. I, in fact, last week we were discussing what sort of, uh, um, if it had any sort of pull. Uh, Zondo Commission, the Zondo Commission, uh, Zondo Commission, and the Zondo Commission first arrest. Now, this is brilliant. I think we, I think we can give a round of applause for this. I mean, what is it? Two years in the making. Um, two years in the making. <coughs> the Hawks arrested uh, the alleged masterminds behind the unlawful 200 million rand asbestos audit project. This is in a free state, uh, by the way. I think this is very good news for South Africa, by the way. In fact, in this week, we've had two good news stories in terms of this. While we seem to be all is lost, doom and gloom, let's, let's, uh, Nares Sirup says a lot of workers are willing to work for less than minimum by wage, but survive, but the unions are stealing that little out of their mouths. Correct, correct, Naresh. That is correct. That is true. Um, yep, a round of applause for the Zondo Commission, by the way. Uh, Anila said every person can make a difference, that's correct. A round of applause for the Zondo Commission, uh, the asbestos audit project in the free state. Uh, arrest people finally being arrested. People are arrested now. That is great, great news. That is that is great news. Um, a lot of big shots have been uh, implicated. I can watch the Zondo Commission full time. Ah, Ricky Naidu, I also want you to know about the Zondo Commission full time. There is no full time channel uh, for that. We just pick up the bits and pieces on the news. There is no full time, as far as I know. I would also like to watch it full time. Anyway, uh, this is the asbestos audit project in the Free State, and uh, these guys finally been arrested. By the way, this project was 2014 or something like that in the making, right? And uh, you guys remember Peter Louis Maybach's book, uh, Gangster State, where it, it deals a lot with Ace Bakashule. By the way, Ace Bakashule, who else, was premier of the Free State when this was going down, this, uh, this asbestos deal. Uh, balance sheets got AM, AM signed, AM, AM. Ace Bakashule, I don't know, or AM is the morning, but AM signed on balance sheets according to reports. Uh, Ace Bakashule is premier of the Free State when this project went down. Um, and when the book Gangster State came out, this project was mentioned in the book Gangster State. Ace Makashule was fingered. And people, even ANC people who I knew said, Peter Louis Maybach is going to see his ass. He's going to get sued for printing false information. <coughs> yep, 
People I know, ANC supporters, who are saying it's lies about ACE and that Peter Louis Maybach is going to see his ass because um, the, live, the live is on YouTube. Um, yeah. But how's this? A eh? couple of years later, Peter Louis Maybach is shown to be correct because if, if he had printed false things in a book, he would have been sued a long time ago by Ace Makashula and crew. But they didn't sue him. Why? Because that would mean them going to court and the whole saga coming out. <coughs> Ricky said the guy from Bloom was just pulling in contracts per year and was channeling the money back to the ANC. Correct. Same story out came like mayor of Durban. Um, if you didn't know, uh, I didn't read the book. Well done to you, Lisa. I didn't read the book. Didn't get the time. So let me tell you the value of that contract. Let me tell you the value of that contract. The contract was for 230 million. The contract, here are the figures. The contract was for 230 million. The total money they spent on the project was 22 million, 21.3, let's call it 22. 22 million. Which means they made a net profit of over 200 million. Put that, get it to your head. Clean profit of over 200 or 208 million. 200 million rand profit. They quoted 230 million. They only spent 22 million. Okay. 208 million rand of clean profit. This from Ace Bakashule, the other businessmen, all black business. I'll say it over and over and over again. <coughs> all black businessmen. Don't talk about white monopoly capitalists. Don't talk about UK. Don't talk about other people raping Africa. Don't talk about... Let us stop talking about that and let us... Why don't we talk about how black people are raping black people? What sort of mentality is that? What sort of fucking buffock mentality is that? Eh? Etienne speaking about the goodness I love to love you. <laughs> keep on doing it. Eh? Who... Eh? Why doesn't someone talk about that? Why don't... I mean, the radio stations talk about it like it's like it's general. Like it's general. Like it's people. No! When white people steal from black people is one thing. When black people steal from black people is fucking something else. Why don't you all fucking see that? Eh? That's what I'm upset about. I'm upset. Call me a racist now because I'm picking on black people. No, I'm fucking be fucked when you get a black person stealing who's already got money. You already got money. You already got privilege. You already got power. You already got so much of things. And you steal... From the man in the shack. Pussy C we have combined the public, yeah, something like all these politicians. 230 million contact with a profit of 208 million. This is pure theft. Of course it's pure theft. Hey? Eh? 208 million rand profit. Eh? Uh Frida Dairy will be investigated soon. Shit's about to get real. These oaks are all going down. Well, actually, Lisa Kim, that leads me to my last point and to say this. Um that uh and the other good news in this week, which we should be happy about, by the way, lots of bad things happening in South Africa. The good things happening is also, <coughs> also uh, Richard Luli, the former crime intelligent boss, was sentenced to five years imprisonment for his uh, kidnapping and assault charge. Right, this was a couple of years back, uh, 2009 or something like that. This happened. Uh, Richard Luli, former crime intelligent boss, by the way, is now serving five years behind bars. He's Leave to appeal was declined. His leave to appeal was declined. That's another good news story for us because two to three years back, this would not have happened. Are we, are we being honest? This one, you would not have heard this thing as a kind of thing happening. But Richard and Luli and these guys now are speaking in the space of one week. And now I got, and this is good news to me, uh, that the Zondo Commission can now, can now implement this sort of action to start to arrest people because I thought it was a toothless body, which is what I discussed last week. A toothless body. But now I can see that things are happening. Uh, people are getting arrested. I think this sort of action will now start to uh, the as rule that the dairy case, the Shufa nothing. I heard about that. Uh, I heard about that. Touch it properly enough. Uh, but listen, public. What's the name, Kobani? Ah, let's not, let's not even waste our. <coughs> that sort of thing. But anyway, ending with the good news story. 
uh, the Zondo arrests, uh, which are good news for us, and I think we should uh, take that, take the little that we get. It's a good news story for South Africa. We should accept the good that we get, and uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, I've done my share. I've done about 20, 50 some odd minutes. Throat is getting dry. Uh, leg is feeling a bit sore uh, sitting on this cushion here. Let me Let's uh, try and wrap up the program. Uh, public protocol is captured. Anida, I think you're on point there. That Busan Siwe and Kobane. Ay, 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 ay. Busan Siwe and Kobane. That is not even go down the road. Right, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching uh, Witness Day Live, Live with me, KC. It's what we do every night, 8 o'clock. It's a rolling milk getting dawa. Milk getting sour, you dawa. Right. Uh, YouTube guys, thank you for watching as well. And uh, don't forget, tonight's show brought to you by uh, Battery Lab and Lubricants. Check out their special offers there on their batteries uh, located in Durban. Never saw you having a shot today. No shots. Uh, maybe the weekend, Ricky, but you never sent my shot. Where's my shot? Ricky, he's not going to send the shot. Uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, tuning in uh, every night, 7.30. That's right, NG Police, 7.30 to 8.30. Because by uh, 9 o'clock is bedtime for me. <coughs> right, do the right thing, celebrate the small victories, that's right. <coughs> uh, vanilla, uh, they will take these cooks and post them to another portfolio. They may uh, enjoy the rest of your evening, Casey. Thank you. Right, say good night, guys. Be the, do the right thing, say good night, sign off. And uh, let me just shut off uh, YouTube um, there so I can end the stream there. Without YouTubers, we didn't have a good session on YouTube. Uh, Facebook ended up the best feed after all. Who, who would have thought about that? Uh, send me your address, I will have it delivered. <laughs> WhatsApp me, WhatsApp me, Ricky, WhatsApp me, WhatsApp me. Alcohol, we don't say no. And you know, but, but mark it as pain medication, Ricky. Don't put alcohol, mark it as pain medication. And give me a dosage, like double, single, how many times a week? So the wife will read the instructions there and she'll administer it accordingly. She's administering my medication. Put it for weekends only, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, twice, twice, <laughs> twice a day, something, something like that. <coughs> right, there's my contact number there. Clinton thinks that thanks, Casey. Rest well. Thank you very much. Uh, leg pain is okay. See, yep. Uh, if you see my position of my leg in a certain position, then you stay. And I can't put it down. It's got to be in a certain angle and start to work on my hip bone, whatever. But... I'm here for you guys. Thank you so much for joining in. Ricky Nani says, Tops Brew uh, from me. Remember to always keep it. Mother, the name is KC. Until tomorrow, same time, same place, I'm out.